from Pakistan too, like Mariana. So, sorry if you don't understand my English. If you don't understand nothing, you just imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> so, my talk is about uh, how to be rich with a small talk. Uh, does anyone here is rich and using a small talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but this is not the, the rich that you are thinking. It's about the rich of applications. So, this is about the rich internet applications. So, if you want to go, you can, if, if you were thinking that is, I'm going to talk about uh, money, if it's not the case. So, uh, I want to show you or to, to talk about the, the context that I started uh, working with that, uh, my motivation. Uh, this was my client, and he was uh, a cute application, you know. Uh, they call it a rich application. It is a good word right now. And he was also focused on user experience. Um, you know, the, the stuff, what, where to put the, the buttons, where to put the words. And he, he also he didn't have too much time to work. So um, we have to deal with, with all of that. And we have another fact that uh, we are small tech lovers. Uh, in my company, we want to to work with a small talk, and we love small talk. So why we love small talk? Well, I, I don't have to, to tell you why, but this are one of uh, our best, uh, one of the best uh, features that small talk have. We think that uh, this is why we love small talk. Um, so the challenge was to uh, be focused on UI user experience, uh, the application to be cute, yeah, to, to, to look nice, to be uh, beautiful to the eyes. And we don't have too much time. And all of that using this motor. You know, uh, we are going to, to see in the next slide, but uh, believe it or not, it, it, it is not so common to get all of these concerns and using this model. And uh, that's why we think that we were in a hurry. So, uh, before uh, we start uh, showing you our, uh, our solution, I want to set up some previous definition. So, uh, what, I, uh, what I mean when uh, I tell you that I want a rich application, uh, it is, um, when we say a rich application, uh, we are uh, taking both from the taking the best from both work, you know, the desktop application and the web application, and we try to put together in uh, one application that it's called a rich, a rich internet application. Uh, does anyone here uh, here know what is a rich internet application? Is anybody familiar with that term? No. Yeah. One, two. Two, three, four, yeah. So a rich uh, internet application basically is uh, to take um, reachability uh, from the web application and richness from desktop application. Because uh, all of the controls in, in the desktop application, uh, they look more, um, I mean, uh, richful. I don't know if this is, this is the word. Uh, uh, because you have more uh, like uh, power because uh, they uh, run in the machine like uh, like like a heavy client, you know. And um, richness is because uh, we want to use the, the richness of the web application because uh, in some way um, every machine can uh, run the web application. So the solution for that to, to take the, the best from both world is the rich internet application. This is a, a, this is a term that is uh, uh, running now uh, these days. So the other term that I'm going to use is user experience. Uh, this is a, a definition by Donald Norman, which has a, a nice uh, book called uh, Everyday Subject Design. Uh, I recommend that, that book. It's interesting. Uh, it is also a, a, a applied to uh, software design. <laughs> The gas is, is, is telling me that it's, it's a nice book. Um, in, in, this, uh, in this book, uh, uh, what is 
mean user experience is to uh, how it is perceived, learning, and user everything, you know. And, but when I talk in, in, in applications, I mean how is uh, perceived, learning, and user the, the, this application. So when I talk about uh, user experience, I mean this how is perceived, learning, and user. Okay? So uh, I was talking about the research that we do. Uh, um, in uh, applications that use this model to develop uh, interfaces and user experience and focusing on that. And this is what I found. You know? uh, do you think that this one are <laughs> uh, rich internet application or, or focusing on user experience? I don't want to, to fight with, with nobody or I don't want to, to, <coughs> to have problems with nobody here. But uh, I don't think that uh, this is a nice pop-up or I don't know, this is a nice green. Uh, this is another example of uh, application. Maybe some of you know this application. <laughs> the, uh, those are applications that uh, uh, from companies that, that I work on. This is another example of uh, a calendar or a tree view. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how you can improve this uh, <coughs> um, this view. So, some quick conclusion is that uh, they have all similar layouts. Uh, believe it or not, these are uh, like uh, three applications, three different applications, but uh, uh, all of them do similar. I don't know if you if you take notice of that. Uh, they are not, they are user friendly. Uh, I, I I use it and, and I can tell you that they are user friendly. And they are all form oriented. Uh, and they use all the Windows default theme, so you can't uh, uh, you can do too much uh, graphic design with that view. So that's why I'm telling that this is boring. And uh, I'm going to show you some state of the art gear. This is not right in this model, but they are uh, a nice examples of what you can do. Uh, I think that Gmail is, a, is a, a good example of user experience. I have everything. <coughs> Uh, in near my hand, what I need when I use in Gmail. I don't know if you understand what I'm, what I'm saying with that, but I mean that when I think in th that I need something in Gmail, I, I just got it. I look for it and I just got it. So this is this is great. That, uh, they can predict what the user is going to do and what the user is going to need. Uh, this is another one. Look here. This is Google Maps also. Uh, I'm, I'm not from Google, <laughs> because yeah, I got the, the Microsoft map. Uh, this is another to-do list, and this is uh, this is a nice uh, site to listen to music. They have a, like a graph, and you can navigate through this. And I, I think that you can do that with the, with the classical uh, graphic interface. <coughs> So, quick conclusions. <laughs> Everybody knows Borat. Uh, they, uh, they have a, a lot of focus on visual interactions, uh, several colors and images that let you uh, play with the, with the user. Uh, While well, they have gra graphic design, a lot of work on graphic design. And they have intuitive interface that was talking you about the, the Gmail. Right? So, uh, I, um, I think that this is, this is a cute application. So, uh, um, making a, a, a recap, the idea is to uh, to make a, uh, an application that is cute and uh, for those using this model. So, uh, our proposal was to uh, use on, uh, separate the, um, the application in the front end and for that use Flex and in the back end uh, use uh, Dolphin's motor and connected through web services, that is so. Um, and the idea is to, uh, to delegate responsibilities uh, to the objects that uh, know how to do it. I mean, uh, I think that uh, Flex is a real, uh, it's a very good solution for showing things, for, for developing uh, user interfaces, and I think that a small talk is, is the best uh, tool to uh, modeling stuff or modeling uh, good designs or modeling simulation. That this is the case that uh, at the, the product that, uh, that we do. 
and that's why we uh, choose to separate in this way. So basically, if, if you get a, a deeper look in the in the architecture, uh, we are going to have a model and a web server. A web server is Sprite. Sorry, I, I don't mention Sprite. Uh, does anybody know Sprite? No. Sprite is a um, is a web server for um, for web services writing in small talk, uh, writing in Dolphin. It's a package uh, and through uh, metadata, meta data, data. <laughs> Uh, you can uh, map all your objects and expose it through uh, web services. So the idea is that you uh, uh, you um, expose the object that you want as services, and then the front end that is uh, writing in, in Flex uh, take as a services uh, the, the the process that is happening in the, in the model. So this way you can uh, get uh, a layer uh, in the middle, and uh, I mean you can you can have two layers and connect it through web services. And uh, now we are going to see an example to, to what I'm talking. So, So this is how it looks like a front end, and what I'm going to show you is I'm going to import the the classes that I already do. Basically, uh, when you use Sprite, you have two classes. You have the, the service that is going to be uh, expulsive, and you have the model that is going to, to do all the magic, you know? So, the, uh, so that way you can have a, a non-intrusive uh, communication with the, with the outside world. Uh, you, can, uh, you can model your your domain without thinking in the front end and then uh, with that metadata meta uh, you can expose all the behavior uh, to the outside. So basically um, this is going to be my uh, domain class uh, this is going to be my service class uh, you have a reference in the in the service class and we are going to expose this uh, this method yeah this uh, this is going to just uh, reverse the word that it's coming from the outside yeah the idea is to have a a, a service that uh, it's get a, a, a string and uh, <coughs> it's going to uh, output uh, the the reverse string so what i have to do to, to make it happen is to uh, define which is the input and the output. What, what is the input and the output? And I do this with, uh, with this comment, right? So what I have to do now is just to uh, start this, a server, yes? This is big. 
because it had. And now, I will start the, the Flex application. So, um, the idea is, this is, uh, uh, this is a, a nice one uh, application, I mean, you have a lot of control and you can play a lot with the, with the user interface, but at the end you are uh, talking with a small tool. So, uh, you can see right now that if I uh, write something here, when I this is going to a small talk and then go back to, to the Flex application. And if you don't believe it, I can put the uh, break point. <laughs> to start, I want to show you um, 
the application running from the from the image. <clears throat> so this is uh, this is the image. I'm going to. to start the server again and then I'm going to to the front end and now you are going to see the, the application oh. You can't see up there because of the resolution. But this is not. Yeah, and you move the move it, you have curl bars. Yeah, I know. But this but this is not the same. What about the the size of the screen the screen resolution? Thank you. No, but what? <coughs> what? Okay, this is, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this is the application. Uh, actually, this is running the small talk in, in, in the backend. And you can see that, uh, sorry, because it's in Spanish, but I don't have too much time to translate it. Uh, but basically, uh, you can configure the, you can set up the, um, the map that you want to simulate. You have several uh, maps or series, and you have the quantity of uh, cars. So I'm going to to use uh, 100 cars, and you can uh, configure configure is it the right? Yeah. Well, yeah. And you can configure uh, the behavior of the drivers. So you can say that this uh, uh, one uh, I don't know 10 percent of the people are uh, hurry, or 10 percent of the people are uh, not paying attention, or something like that. And then you apply the, the, the configuration, <coughs> and then you have the map. So the green uh, flags are the start points, and the red one are the, uh, the end points. When the cards get in the simulation, I'm going to play the simulation. When the car is going, uh, is going out from the flag, uh, it is uh, the simulation assigned assign it uh, a red one flag. Uh, this is the, the point that it has to go. So this is um, basically what we do is um, uh, an emergency system. You know, <coughs> you know what an emergency system is. It's, it, 
A merchant system. Thank you. A merchant system is a system that you uh, just program uh, one car and uh, you don't program the, the traffic jam. You know, you, you are not programming that uh, all the cars go this way and then it's going to happen in traffic jam. You just program one car with uh, his own rules and they then uh, arise a new uh, behavior that you don't predict. You know, so the behavior that we don't predict is the traffic jam. Um, the, the, the idea is to see. Uh, this is the idea. <laughs> the idea is to um, to see what happens if we block a street. You can block a street. Uh, this is going to to block a track. We have modeled the street with with tracks, so you can block a track and see what happens. And you can block the complete street like this. Uh, we call in Argentine uh, piquete. It's, uh, <laughs> it's people that it's blocking the street because they are. Uh, it's like a real. You know? <laughs> so this is going to block, and you can see that the cars it it it's not going to move because uh, they can they can pass. So uh, you can also you can uh, get an asterisk. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But, no, it's not passing. <laughs> it's going to get a, 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 a stack in there. Uh, at, well, because they can't respect all the traffic light, you know? When the, when the traffic light is red, uh, they can pass. And, and you, can, you can get some a statistic uh, about the quantity of car, the, the, um, the um, The uh, environment contamination, you know, uh, we were uh, looking for for some real numbers. Uh, we talked with some uh, environmental uh, engineer, engineer. I don't know if this is correct. Uh, and they tell us uh, how to do the, the, the measurement and, and all of this stuff. And you can uh, mark. Uh, Your <laughs> and you can create an statistic, and and you can see unlike the statistic, you know, and you can and you can see and you can compare and you can compare with this. And you can see what happens when you block a street and how the uh, different quantity of cars change between each zone. So the idea is to, to get a better... Sorry. Y, X, what, what is showing? Uh, it's time and quantity of cars. Oh, okay. um, and, and, and you can see... Uh, I don't know how to translate this. <laughs> uh, but, sorry? Circulation speed? I don't know. Uh, contamination? Uh, uh, sound contamination, um, environmental contamination, and you can get a lot of uh, statistics. Um, but uh, what is really important, you can, you can also speed up the model. Yeah, and it's good. Well, I have to to, <coughs> to stop what? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the, 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 the real thing, yes. Why didn't uh, the cars try to make another way around uh, this? Uh, why did they try to go another way around uh, this? Why did they try to go another way around this? Why did the cars go around the ticket? Oh, because they can move it. Yeah, they, they, they are not so smart. Uh, you get <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you get uh, the car, it, it, it can go uh, backwards, you know? The, uh, yes, but the other ones in the, in the line, they uh, take the legs. I don't know, I have to so, see. Someone, someone, someone. Yeah, somewhat. Yes, be, be, because there is, there is a, there is, um, 
there are a rule that when we model all this, uh, we have weights for the for the street. So uh, some street has more weight uh, when you decide where to go. So sometimes uh, if the weight is is too strong, is too heavy, uh, they still want to go to this way. And I think that maybe this is what is happening. I don't. I, I don't. I don't see what you, you are telling me, but I don't know. We, we can discuss later. Um, the, the important thing that I... Okay, I'm going to stop this. The important thing that I want to, to tell you is that in, in the, uh, the simulation is running in this motor. Uh, it's uh, more easy to, um, to do this in a small talk than in, in flex, you know? In flex, uh, flex it is not... Uh, thinking to make a simulation. So, uh, so uh, what, it, uh, what are the, the benefits uh, of doing this architecture? I mean, is uh, to... Um, you have more uh, controls to, to work with the, uh, with the interface. Um, it, is, uh, it, it is easy to... Um, to, to get a, a quick uh, perception of the work that you are doing because uh, it's, uh, I think that the, the, uh, ah, what do you say? the, the, the to, to see uh, the progress in, uh, uh, for the view is uh, more quickly than to see the progress in, in, in the actual code, you know, because uh, you can show to the client well, what is, uh, how is uh, the application growing? So, uh, another thing that you have is uh, what you see is what you get editor in, in Flex. So you can and play and, and you, can, you, you can get sitting with the client and they are going to say, no, I want this button here and I want this button that. And uh, also you can work with the graphic design team and they are going to be more familiar with that. They don't have to, to write code, uh, and you can uh, express yourself, your idea, with uh, because you have a lot of artistic features. Um, well, greater progress perception is is what I'm telling you. Uh, and what are the, the bad things? Uh, maybe you can have a poor client performance because uh, uh, Flash is not uh, so. They don't have a, a, it doesn't have a lot of performance issues. No, it doesn't have a lot of performance uh, performance yeah. improvement. Okay, thank you. Uh, the other the other bad thing is that you have two environments, so that means that you have to maintain two environments, and maybe uh, sometimes you have a duplication of stuff, and this is not uh, uh, this is not good. Uh, but you, maybe you can synchronize uh, each uh, each word, and you can auto generate some some stuff. Uh, actually, in Flex, you have a word uh, a, a tool that uh, generates all the uh, DTO object uh, from the from the um, small talk uh, model, and this is uh, this is a real a real nice tool because it, it saves a lot of time. And uh, main query in, in high traffic load because what I do to synchronize the view with the model is uh, asking to the model uh, every one second, for example. So I have to, uh, I, I'm going to have a lot of traffic. Um, is uh, edge, edge technology is a problem because uh, you are dealing with uh, stuff that is evolving and maybe you are going to have some problems that you don't have, uh, you don't supposed to have. Um, I have some problems when I want to uh, debug some stuff or when I want to have uh, some, um, I don't know, uh, I, I can't have two constructors in, in one class, so that, that's the kind of problem that you have when uh, a tool is developing. Um, problems what uh, <laughs> we face during development, this is one of our uh, developers, uh, after he has a problem with the <laughs> Uh, so the, the, product, the some products that we have was the cyclical uh, reference that reflects the, the young support supported. 
uh, we have a lot of cyclical reference in, in this motor, in the back end. So we have to deal with that. Another problem is that any type is not supported. This is a, a technical low level stuff. Um, we have a problem with, when we have to divide. Uh, because you see that when I, uh, uh, when I have a, a breakpoint in a small talk, uh, it, it is all freezer, and um, because this is asynchronous, uh, I have a timeout, so it, it is very difficult to debug sometimes. You have to debug just the back end, and then you have to debug just the front end. And sometimes this is not good. Uh, you can deal with that uh, making some mock options or something like that. Um, well, it, uh, action script is the language that you use in Flex. It is not the state of the art in object oriented programming. Because, for example, you can't implement a, a singleton, you can use, a, a, I, don't know, I don't remember right now, but you have a lot of uh, lack of object oriented programming. Uh, security is another problem that we, that we have because uh, Flex has a sandbox and uh, you have to deal with that. You have to uh, sometimes uh, some stuff is broken and you don't know why, and it's because of the sandbox. Um, well, uh, uh, before, uh, no, after I, I did this, uh, this work, I did this work uh, two years ago, more or less. Uh, I didn't know nothing about uh, another uh, rich internet application writing this motor, but uh, this day I, I, I do some research. And I found that uh, the RDS is, is another good approach to, to look for. Uh, CSI has some rich, uh, rich stuff. Uh, you can execute JavaScript or something like that. And with the small talk, I, I was looking for that, but I think that they did continue. Uh, it is, it, it is a, a nice example to, to see. Um, so my final conclusions are that uh, I take uh, both from both war, you know, the, the UI war and the uh, modeling war. I think that uh, for modeling stuff, small talk is the best. And for showing uh, stuff, um, uh, Flex or, or RIA are the best. Um, I think that it's a better uh, responsibility delegation. This is what I told you uh, uh, in, in the previous uh, slide. Because I think that uh, you have to delegate to who is better to do the work. So this is all. Uh, I think that uh, you can get a power of distinction. You can get a, an application that is uh, a, a symbol or, or is uh, representative for some people, like it's uh, Gmail or Google. You say that application like Google or, or you are using Google to uh, to to a difference, you know. So this is that. I think that you can do that with uh, with this approach. Um, I think that you can have better communication with the user because he can he can see what you are doing in a more quickly way. Um, just, uh, just for you to know, this is not the way to do to do it. This is just one way because you can use uh, any uh, rich application. You have Silverlight, you have Open Desktop, <coughs> you have a lot, of, a lot of them, and you can see any smart that you want. Uh, it has to support uh, web services, and I think that um, that uh, this rewards has um, and just uh, connected through web services. Uh, so you, you can use this uh, proposed architecture with uh, any kind of smart uh, small talk and any kind of, of RIA. And actually, you can uh, get a better performance using um, a, 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 protocol, a binary protocol like AMF. This is uh, what MillerDS uh, is doing. So I think that is a, a, a nice way to, <coughs> to work when you have to uh, focus on user experience and, and gear to design. So the other conclusion is what I just told you. <laughs> um, I want to uh, recognize or to to um, say thanks to to other people that is uh, working on ISO uh, because uh, it is very important for me to to be here and to get the chance to be here. And if uh, they wasn't have the 
student volunteers plan. I, I came came here. So thank you, you guys, Nuri, Stefan, and all the other guys. So merci beaucoup. <laughs> Okay, thank you. 